Iran-Israel News Today Large detonation at Iraqi base raises concerns amid Iran-Israel conflict. The story, a major explosion at an Iraqi security base, including the PMU, has sparked accusations of guilt. After Iran and Israel's unprecedented direct firefight, the blast has garnered attention. PMU representatives initially accused the U.S. for the blast, but a retraction has raised questions about its cause. Coverage After the explosion early on April 20, social media photographs showed a massive fire at Khalsa military facility. The site lies in Iskandaria, 50 kilometers, 31 miles, south of Baghdad. Multiple Iraqi media outlets and social media blamed an Israeli or U.S. missile or drone attack for the blast. According to Babylon, Babel, Governor 8 Security Committee head Mohanad al Anazi, the attack was indiscriminate and caused by many missile strikes. The PMU and Iraqi security forces told Reuters that an airstrike caused the blast. The PMU later blamed U.S. forces. Later, a Nazi stated that some 13 Iraqi security forces, including PMU members, were injured. Dr. Ahmed Lashin, a Cairo University of Ain Shams professor of Iranian studies, firmly claimed on Al Balad News on April 21 that Israel attacked in response to Iran's April 14 strike on Israeli military targets. After blaming U.S. soldiers, PMU officials in Babylon, Babel, Governor 8 removed their statement. They then updated their statement to say merely explosion and promise an inquiry. At the base the next day, PMU Chief of Staff Abdulaziz, Abu Fadak, al Mohammadawi inspected the scene of the explosion and checked on the safety of the fighters stationed there. He allegedly reviewed detectives' work at a big crater. On Twitter slash X, Qatai Bisayed al Shahada leader Abu Allah al Walai tweeted that whoever is shown to be complicit in this horrific act will face the price. The Islamic Resistance in Iraq, a new organization of Shiite armed groups, said it had launched a drone strike on Eilat, southern Israel, in reaction to an Israeli attack in the hours after the explosion. Since its founding after the Gaza War in October 2023, the umbrella body has claimed hundreds of assaults on Israeli and U.S. interests. The context slash analysis initial reports suggested the Khalsa base blast was an Israeli reprisal to Iran's April 14 missile and drone attack but the incident's ambiguity has prompted suspicions. Iran said its April 14 attack on Israeli military targets was in response to Israel's suspected bombardment of the Iranian consulate annex in Damascus on April 1. The latter murdered several IRGC men, including two commanders. The Khalsa base blast occurred a day after an April 19 strike on Iranian military sites outside Isfahan. Tehran and Tel Aviv have minimized the Isfahan strike, which U.S. authorities have linked to Israel. U.S. Central Command, CENTCOM, denied involvement three hours after the Khalsa base explosion on April 20. Western media said that Tel Aviv bears no relation with the explosives saw in Iraq, citing an Israeli source. The Iraqi Air Defense Command later confirmed that preliminary data showed there were no drone or fighter aircraft in the skies around Babylon. Babel Governor 8, before or during the explosion. The Khalsa base explosion may have been an accident due to foreign forces' denials of an airstrike. Social media users criticized such claims, while Iraqi officials cited the explosion's large crater, the future, as Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani returned from his first White House meeting with President Joe Biden, the Khalsa incident occurred. Despite Iran-Israel tit-for-tat assaults, Sudani and his entourage signed numerous tentative economic and military memoranda of understanding during the visit. PMU downplaying of the April 20 blast implies that all parties to the recent regional conflict want de-escalation, say observers. The PMU's apparent reluctance to accuse Israel or the U.S. may also indicate anxiety over toppling Sudani, who assumed power in October 2022 with their support, at a crucial time.